Well, folks, border agents are now reporting that one of the most remote sectors of Texas, the Big Bend sector, in that sector, illegal crossings are at unprecedented levels. So far this year, border agents arrested 22,000 illegals crossing the border, shattering the previous record of 9,000 with single adult men wearing camouflage to avoid capture and blend in with the harsh terrain, as you can see there, begging the question, why are they trying to avoid capture when right now the Biden team is welcoming nearly all border crosses in with open arms? And it gets worse. Large groups of illegals from Venezuela, Pakistan and Yemen are being captured at Texas southwest border as well. The last two countries I just named, Pakistan and Yemen, are well-known terror hotspots. Once on U.S. soil, some of the migrants kissed the ground and prayed to the sky. Folks, you cannot make this stuff up. Tell me figure out exactly what is going on here. I want to welcome Newsmax contributor and former Acting Customs and Border Patrol Commissioner Mark Morgan to the show. Mark, great to see you again. Thanks, Grant. Mark, help me break this down. Camouflage? What is going on here? Yeah, look, Grant, this is not surprising at all. The, the, the cartel's business and the smuggling organization's business, it's alive and well directly as a result of the Biden administration's open border policies. This administration has helped uh, to uh, increase their, their, their revenue as well as their resources. So the, the cartels and smuggling organizations, they're able to expand operations, open new franchises, if you will, along the southwest border and go to areas like the Bin Bin sector that generally has just been too challenging for them to do. But now they have the money and resources to do it. And they're using techniques like outfitting every single illegal alien with, with top-of-the-line camouflage uniforms like they do in other sectors to try to get them through illegally. And look, Grant, real quick, here's another, here's another dirty little secret that this administration continues to lie to the American people. Uh, as a result of their open border policies, guess what else you get? Dead migrants. Last week they found a dead migrant that had tried to illegally enter. This year they've uncovered 20 Dead migrants that have tried to illegally enter the United States in the Big Bend sector wow. alone, one of nine sectors. But you don't hear the administration talking about how inhumane that is. No, you don't. Um, really, they're killers with their policies and child abusers with their policies as well. Right. Um, I'm struck by just what you mentioned there with the camouflage. They all look like they're wearing the exact same outfits. That means somebody's paying for this. You think it's the cartels. Are they bringing drugs with them? Are they reinforcements for soldiers on the ground as far as the drug dealing trade goes once they get to America? Who are these people? Grant, you're spot. Look, it's D, all the above. This, look, we've been saying for a very long time, and again, this administration continues to twist and spin a lot of American people. I, I've said for a very long time that the cartels and smuggling organizations can teach a class at Harvard about uh, uh, business resiliency and flexibility and adaptability. Yeah, uh, uh, no doubt. Those uniforms are being provided by the cartel. They bring them to stash houses. They give them new shoes. They give them uniforms. And a lot of times they give them a backpack filled with drugs to say, you're going to do this to pay off the money for us to illegally smuggle you across the, the, the border. And look, here's another area where I get a lot of hate mail on this. Guess why they're doing this? Yeah, because there's a lot of these single adult males that are not good people. These are where the criminals are, the, 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 the rapists, the pedophiles, the murderers, the gang members. That's just a fact. But yet people just don't like to hear it on the left. Yeah, well, your experience in all of this is so valuable to us here at Newsmax. I appreciate you keeping up the fight. Don't let the hate mail get you down, man. I get a lot, a lot of it. Use it as a badge of courage. Buddy, thank you for coming on as always. Grant, love you. And thanks for what you do every night as well. You've got it right back at you, brother.